If it seems like people have a shorter fuse nowadays, you are not wrong. In today's Mind Matters, Dr. Richard Levac explains why adult temper tantrums are on the rise. Oh, Dr. Levac. <laughs> or, are you growling at me, or is just 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 getting into this discussion? That's right. I, I think I've had this discussion maybe a dozen times, and maybe just because I work on the news and I see it so much, but. I'm like, what, what has happened? Why is everybody so angry? I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people. A lot of people are angry. Why? I mean, just some surveys show this year already 746 FAA investigations into dangerous airline behavior, 149 last year. So 700% 700, 700 increase. 80% of uh, workers uh, have said that someone's blown up at them. So it's on the rise, people are scared, people are worn out, and so tempers and fuses are short. Okay, I'm scared, I'm worn out, I'm, I'm a lot of things, but there's a difference between yeah. feeling those emotions and then becoming aggressive with those emotions or going to that next level and throwing yeah. a temper tantrum, which we usually see in children. We usually see in children. And the reason children have temper tantrums is they don't have the vocabulary. They don't have the ability to be able to uh, identify feelings. Mom, I'm very frustrated with you. You hurt my feelings. Yesterday I was scared. Kids can't really do that very well. So these emotions well up and they tantrum. There are now many adults who are so stressed and fearful and, and um, feel unsure about the future that a small event hijacks them. Their emotions hijack them and they lose their cool. And you see afterwards, they can't believe that they did it. Now, there are some people who use temper as a way of getting things, but that's different. Mm, I what an interesting word that you use to hijack them. So as an adult, you learn how to communicate. Yes. But there's something so powerful about these emotions that it just overrides, especially if they feel guilty afterwards. Why did I do that? That's right. That's right. So what happens, Shelley, is that we know from research that if we tell someone that you're going to go through profound stress, but at the end, it's over, that's much more it's easier to deal with that yeah. than to have a long period where you have no idea when it's going to end. And what happened is everyone thought the COVID was over. And then now we're back to uncertainty, to the Delta variant. So that's very difficult for people. They have no idea how long this is going to last. There's a lot of conflict with, within our political system. And that really affects people. Is there a particular type of person, Dr. Levac, who would be more likely to throw these tantrums than others? I think people who have a sense of feeling that they're victims, people who feel they've been unfairly treated, uh, people who have gone through profound stress are more likely to blow a fuse because it's a cascade. You, you, you deal with things, you deal with things, and then there's a final straw. And you know what, Shelley? Often the final straw is something very minor. And that's why to outside observers, mm -hmm. it feels really yeah, bad. They always say, and you, I'm sure, can confirm this as a you know, psychologist, that, it, that anger is not about that one particular thing. It's something else. Right. And that situation will just be the... The, the, the last straw. The last straw. This is the last time someone's going to say no to me. I'm fed up of it. Fed up. Yeah. I'm fed up. Okay, if you're one of those people who you can feel those emotions right. coming up and you're conscious about it, you say, I don't, I don't want to be this person. I don't want to react this way. What are things we can do? I think if you can keep a daily awareness of how am I doing, if I'm irritable with the kids, if I'm barking at my, my, my mate, if, I'm, if I just roll my eyes with anger because I forgot to buy milk and now I have to go back, if I'm that stressed, be mindful something could trigger me. Take care of yourself. Tell yourself, I'm starting to build up stress if I'm barking at the kids. And what can I do to calm myself? If you get that overwhelming surge where you, it's leading into rage, Take a second and stand back and observe as if you're watching yourself in a movie and allow those emotions 
to die down. Once you get control over it, it'll get easier next time. Good advice. Good <laughs> advice. Dr. Lovac, always love it when you're here. Thank you. Thank you, Shelley.